You back there, Wayne? I'm back here. Yeah, I am. Today, I team up again with my friend Wayne, who joined me 11 years ago in the Great Smoky Mountains. And then more recently at a secret location with a portal of entry for a fun day of hiking and coffee. Don't you push me. I've been nosy. Don't you push me. I got a feeling that ain't it. Nobody told me I had to go up, Wayne. Everybody on the trail is talking about this is just a simple little easy walk. Probably without a 40 pound pack and 100% humidity and approaching 90 degrees. Yeah, that might be it. But right now, taking a little break, finish our way up to this waterfall. There it is, Spoon Auger Falls. A little disappointed. Actually, that's Spoon Auger Falls. Did Wayne fall? Where'd Wayne go? Where's Wayne? Did I lose Wayne? Oh Lord. Where'd Wayne go? Uh, I found Wayne. The problem is that the rain has now found us. Dang, Wayne! What'd you make it rain for? I don't know. What's that first step? Since my poncho wasn't doing me much good, and my bag's getting wetter, I thought I'd put the rain fly or the rain cover on the back. So, I don't care if I get wet, I'm already wet. So if you're setting up camp in a hurry, like what we are today, or we're trying to do, you know, the thunder is definitely coming. I went up that way and checked some things out. Didn't look any better than here, so. Anyway, he's going to go over here. And I'm going to try to hook up right here to right here. And maybe we can get something up before the, the big one comes. You hear me hit my butt on the ground? Love you, That might do. I don't like this hammock, I don't think. We'll see. If I hold my butt off the ground, I think it's good. Yep. Okay, that's a uh, $14.99 hammock from Harbor Freight. If you didn't know they had one, take a look. A little bit of fat wood. It's not, it's not sincere, but it, it came off one of the branches on a fallen tree. I stole some burned firewood left over at an unused campsite close by. Then I placed it around the campfire to help dry it out. Often one of the things that I dislike about being in high use camping areas like this up on the, uh, you might not know where I'm at, on the Chattooga River, uh, on the Chattooga River Trail. And it is a high use area. You can tell by the, the path, you know, it's well worn. Because there's almost no spare fire, firewood anywhere. And what is here just had a shower on it today. Uh, so most of it, if it's punky, it's just wet. So I'm gonna stroll around in here a little bit, see if I can find some smaller pieces. Oh, there's a granddaddy on me. Stop that. See? Hey, 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 stop it. Get, go away. Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's about it. Just about. <laughs> that's all there is. All there is. All there is.
Can anyone please explain why these bees are acting drunk? And why are they going so crazy over this patch of sand? I'm telling you. Okay. Can you take some more? There we go. Okay. Next time, bring a can opener, stupid. Have you got your firebox on? No. Oh. <laughs> you gonna eat this one cold? Oh. I'm gonna have some more bear meat. Yeah, I wasn't totally raised in the barn. Just left the door open. That's all. It's getting late in the evening. The temperatures are still really high. Humidity, you know, it's gotta be right at 100%. It's hot, I already waited in the river, cooled off my feet, wiped off, so it's like in the morning. Wayne found this tarp at a nearby campsite and used it to cover our fireplace and dry wood. Good job Wayne, it's the only thing in the forest still dry. I used some of my fire dust to get a fire started and take the chill out of the morning air. Well, we survived the big lightning storm and Monsoon. downpour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, my tarp has some issues. It's, it's got its age showing, kind of like me. What I had to do is I had a tarp below my sleeping bag that I usually use for a foot pad. I had to pull it up over my sleeping bag under the other tarp to keep from getting soaked. So uh, that was just, just one way of doing it. I, I got my a, coffee. So. Yeah, I had a drip. That's about all I had. And it would drip a little bit and I did Flip it off my sleeping bag. And yeah. A few seconds later, drip on another one. Get it off. <clears throat> but it wasn't bad. And then, you know, round two started up. Well, the first round lasted forever. And then round two, I thought was going to get us. I thought, oh, please, just go away. Go yeah. away. Well, that's right. Go away. I did too. Yeah. Like, go away. I don't need any more of this, man. <laughs> no. And then, you know, when you when you get out for the call of nature after a hard rain like that. It, it, <laughs> It's just, everything's, everything's nasty. Your tarp's wet. Everything's wet, man. But you know, that's just part of the experience of being out here. So oh, in, yeah. a, in a moment, we'll go get the bear bag. That's right. Maybe have a little bite to eat here. We got our coffee first, and that's that's right. Number one priority. Number one priority. <laughs> I like to get out and see the woods every now and then, you know. It's not just sit in camp and eat. Right. Yesterday was so hectic with the rain. I may have mentioned it earlier. We didn't we didn't stop for lunch because uh, it was pouring rain. So in between the showers, we got our camp set up, and uh, it was supper time before we were had time to actually get something to eat. And by that time. I was a little bit dehydrated because uh, when it's raining you don't really think about drinking water a lot you know you don't really feel like it uh, then of course then you know I had already used most of what I had and 
had to make some more, so to speak, with a, you know, with a filter. The Chattooga is part of a wild and scenic river. You may have heard of its fame from the movie Deliverance. Some 40 plus years ago, when the movie was made, they shot scenes in this area. I came back some years later, uh, I mean, probably about 10 years ago for me, on their 40th anniversary, so I guess it's 50. And kind of recreated some of those spaces, you know, places that they had been to and uh, tried to look at them. This river looks almost the same 50 years later as it did then because it's protected as a wild and scenic area. No commercialization, no cell phones, no flyovers. Oh, God, God I caught a spider web. No, oh, Lord. Hey, we were looking to do some fishing this morning, and I think this is just a prime place to do it right here. Nice flow. Uh, comes out of a shallow into a drop-off pool. If we can get access to it, I'm gonna wear a spin bait in here. See if there's anything left, because this late in the season, it's July, this late in the season, all the stockfish are probably caught out. It's been fished to death. This is nationally acclaimed trout waters. But man, what a nice place to be. Thunderstorms are an interesting animal. Because when you're at home and you have a thunderstorm in the rain, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a situation. But when you're out here, you're at one with nature you know you're in the storm so to speak and it becomes much more intense and you and you feel that uh you feel the the shock wave from each lightning you know from and thunder <laughs> water kept dropping it hit me in the head when i was trying to lay back i went well that is not going to work because i don't think i can sleep with the you know water torture going on survived it all that's not a problem because you're kind of in the moment, you're there, you're not leaving, you're not going anywhere. It is a survivable situation and, uh, and actually an enjoyable one when you think about it, about how it makes you appreciate, you know, all the luxuries you have at home. Yesterday when I went up to Spoon Arbor Falls, we dropped our packs about halfway up. And on the way down, it started raining really hard. So I pulled out my rain gear and uh, I dropped the sleeve that it goes in. So I'm back today to see if uh, it's still here. Right here was where we went through. And then we turned, went up through here, we put our packs down. Oh, wait a minute, there it is. How about that? I'm probably the only person who's been here since then. Yeah, I can't pronounce it either. But that's it. Let's head back down. Wayne's Garden, the packs down the hill. We finally got to wet a hook at a very popular fishing hole. Of course it was too late in the day to do any good, but it's always fun to give it a try. Lady in there said they were hauling them out this morning. Yeah, it, you know, it's early. That's why I say it's always early. Yeah, that's why I say you have to hit them early in the morning when they're eating breakfast. Recording. Hey. Quiet on set, birds be quiet. Remember this deal from Harbor Freight for $14.95 or whatever, regular $19 with a coupon maybe? Biggest piece of crap I ever slept in. There's not but four things salvageable about this whole hammock. And that's the two carabiners that came with it and the two sling straps. The rest of it, 
not worth keeping. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check out some of my other adventures. Then get out there, it's a wild world.